elevating the outdoor living. That's the plant in my room. My, my whole idea for the blog today was actually I wanted to speak about fire features, but I wanted to show you guys like some fall leaves and stuff fall in the background. Well, I plan on doing it Saturday. I procrastinated. Yesterday it rained like crazy and today it's still soaking wet, so I can't go out in the trails. the room it has the the yellow flowers it's not because it's fall it's because I forgot the water normally I pay attention to it and keep my eye on it it's a peace lily I, I've been transplanting it and going from pot to pot to pot for I want to say almost 15 20 years and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger get some big white puffy flowers and I always pay attention to it for some reason shape or form this one slipped up off me and it even wilted and laid over so I lost a lot of leaves and stuff like that anyway the vlog out today I want to talk about is fire features it's October it's fall it's the season to sit outside hang out on the fire pit tell stories and enjoy the fire feature. But what I wanna talk about most is the design of fire features. If you open up almost any catalog, and I'm not meaning to say any names bad about them, but like your Unilock, Techo Block, some of those catalogs, you'll see a lot of fire pits inside of them, and you'll see this dreaded concrete seat wall around them. I'm telling you guys now, I will argue with anybody, any designer, any architect, do not put seat walls around a fire feature. I've set on a lot of fire features. I've had a lot of friends, family, events, hang out, and nobody sits on it. I actually will design some seat walls in a fire feature just for overflow. If you have more friends and family or things like that come over, um, the fire feature is the intimate area of the evening. So a lot of times the friends and family that you're really not that cool with, they don't stay for that part. But most of the times, your, your very close friends and family, they'll stay and hang out with you for that. So sometimes I will add just a seat wall just for that added space in case you get overran and stuff like that. The second fire feature tip or fire pit tip is Find out what you're going to use it for. Uh, I know a lot of times when we ran uh, Paver Stone, a paper patio company, I would run estimates or, or run people and they just said, well, I just want a log fire feature. And then they want they want to have like weddings and all kind of events. And, I, and I'll tell you guys now is, unless you're having a bonfire, like in the, the back, what is it called? The back nine, that's what the country folks call it. In the back nine, you had a fire, the bonfire back there. Uh, in the back nine, uh, I think it's the back nine. I don't know what it is, but anyway, if you're having friends, family, and events and parties, you more or less want a gas fire feature. One, they're easy to start. You just use a simple igniter or just a, a, a torch or, or you hook it up to the gas line. And the log fire pit, even though it's the campfire style, it's the storyteller one, you can roll s'mores, it, may, it smells like wood. Like when you're done, your clothes and everything, your hair, you're going to bed and you smell like this wood. So think twice about just having a basic fire pit look into more of a gas line or some propane is actually some nice standalone features too that will hook up to your natural gas line looks really neat something I learned actually working with the swimming pool companies and uh, the gas professionals um, that gas tap that you see at the back of your house a lot of times like you kind of think well I could just hook my fire pit up to that I can hook my lamps up to that I can hook my grill up to that no 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 there's a mass flow valve in your basement and every component that you hook up outside, whether it be a fire feature, whether it be uh, just some like gas lamps that you have out there, whether it be the gas pump you have for the swimming pool, uh, the gas pump you have for uh, the grill, the outdoor grill, they all need to be on separate units. Just don't hook them all at one. There's a lot of BTUs that all these things need and that mass flow valve, I don't know the exact name for it, but this valve will automatic, well they can regulate how much gas they're putting to each area and not just that one tap and don't split a bunch of stuff off there. Matter of fact, hire a professional too. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, send me a message or if you have any ideas or questions you want to answer about outdoor living, like I said, every once in a while I'll do tips about outdoor living style. I think this is perfect for, for October. It's fall, leaves are on the ground, people are hanging out. Hey, and enjoy the outdoor fire pit season because it's on right now, on and popping all the way to almost December. Thank you